Handbrake turn of van. Fuck it. Over the curb. <laughs> oh, that actually held him up. <laughs> Shit, I'm out of ammo. No, I'm not. Alright, alright. I give up, I give up, I give up. Now I want your emergency. Hi, I just had my van stolen. Okay, so what I'm doing now is driving my van around. I know, exciting, right? This is uh, Barry McCockiner and this is his Viagra van. And uh, I'm driving it around kind of recklessly. And there's a point to this because I'm trying to familiarise the cops with the fact that I'm driving it. So they're going to pull me over, see it's me, and just like that, for example. And uh, they're going to know that I'm the driver. And then I'm going to bring out a friend. So this will be a simple ticket, it's just failure to yield at a uh, stop sign. Turn my engine off. Yeah, I just want a few cops here and there to see that it is me driving the van. Because then I'm going to switch it up a little bit. And I think that is where it's going to get real fun. So, uh, probably, yeah, I'm going to assume a failure to yield ticket. Maybe reckless driving if he wants to be an asshole about it. Okay, so my record's looking pretty good. I got two tickets, a registered pistol. Yeah, nothing too out of the ordinary. Do I have my pistol on me? Yeah, I do. Right, okay, I should declare that then when he comes to the van. Hey, how's it going, officer? Hello, sir. Going pretty good. Name is Deputy Taylor with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Do you know the reason for your traffic stop? Um, I know. Was I going a bit fast? I wasn't really paying attention to the speed that much, I'll admit. I also do have my gun on me, just so you know. Okay. Well, go ahead and just uh, keep your hands up on the steering wheel where I can see them. Um, no, the reason for your traffic stop is you actually ran a stop sign back there uh, coming off of Marina Drive onto Joshua. Oh shit, did I? Oh, sorry, I didn't really see it. Uh, yes sir, well it's, it's both clearly labeled on the ground and the, the there's a standing stop sign right back there. Oh, it must have been while I was uh, scratching my leg. I leaned down to scratch my leg back there, so perhaps that's when I uh, drove past it. Yes sir. Alrighty, well let me see your uh, license, registration, proof of insurance please. And uh, where's the location of that firearm? Uh, it's just on my hip. Alright, um, where is your wallet located, just so I, I know? In my glove box. Okay, well, you can go ahead and reach over. Um, you reach over, grab your ID out of the glove box, just, uh, put your hands where I can see you once you finish that. Yeah, there you go, man. My name's Barry McCockina. Alright, thank you, Mr. Barry. If you hold tight, I'll be right back with you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Barry. <laughs> Uh, I do like these silly names. Barry McCockina. Hmm, we got company. I wonder if that's Dave. Dave usually likes driving the uh, Exploder. I do like that Exploder. But yeah, as I said, I'm just going to familiarise the cops with the fact that I'm driving the van. And then my intention is to have the van stolen. And uh, they're going to see it driving recklessly. Oh, there's Barry again. No, not me. I assume he's sat there at the airfield crying about the fact that I just lost my prized possession. How am I going to sell my Viagra now? That's literally Barry's backstory. He's a Viagra salesman. <laughs> I mean, hey, someone's got to do it. Oh, here he comes. Oh, perhaps not. There he goes. Hi, Mr. Barry. At this time, you're going to be receiving a citation. Come on, man, can't you just give it, like, a warning? This is my first time for, like, ages. Uh, no, sir, actually, this isn't your first time for uh, you to stop at a traffic device or yield to a traffic signal. Um, mm -hmm. So at this time, it's going to be another citation, failure to, to stop at a stop sign or failure to yield but to I've a traffic device. But I've only got 2.1 million. It's going to be a $2,000 <laughs> fine. Um, if you will, just sign down here at the bottom. It's not an admission again. It's just simply stating that you'll take care of it with the courts. Okay, man. Here you go. Okay, so I've been pulled over a couple of times now, 
and uh, the cops are familiar with the fact that I'm driving this van as Barry McCarkin. So I'm going to go pick up my load of Viagra from the airport and uh, then my van's going to get stolen. But the difference is last time I called it in. This time I'm not. I'm just going to cut my losses and be a bit upset for a while and then call it in later. By that time they should hopefully have uh, got my van back. You're going to open? Yes, well done, I'm proud of you. You're going to open? Yes. Hmm, see, GTA is getting a bit better. Right, so I'm going to go load up with Viagra. Right, we've loaded up with Viagra. And uh, I've loaded into my GPS, the first place we got to go. And uh, deliver our first load of Viagra that we picked up from the airport. That's a weird-ass junction there. And uh, it's at a place called Smoke on the Water, which is down in uh, the beach area. Quite a nice area, that's where all the tourists go. So i got to drive there now and deliver. They ordered three kilograms of Viagra in form of tablets and powder. So, uh, yeah, that dude must struggle to get his rocks off. Okay, so we're here. i just got to help them unload the van now. Hey, I haven't seen you at the Epsilon training. You okay? Hey, I didn't know there were stairs there. What's that? No, it's literally just a brick wall. That's good. That's really useful. Right, now time to start and the van. So I need to open the trunk, which is... Uh, doors. And start unloading. Oh, 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 damn, man. Hey, hey, look at that van. That van over there. That's a nice-ass van. Let me take a close look. Hey, hey! You never call me back the next day. Huh? There's no one in it. I, I, I want it. Oh my god, it's unlocked. And it's got a hydraulic trunk. <laughs> Let's go for a joyride. Ooh, that would have been expensive. Oh, oh shit, man! I, I need fuel. I, I need to go get some fuel. Uh, and then I'm going to take this to Aunt Margaret's house, uh, up in uh, a Grapeseed. I, I need to fill up with gas, man. I'll just turn around here. Uh, oh, shit, shit, there's a cop there. Um, uh, okay. I, I'm just going to get some gas here. I mean, they probably won't notice. <laughs> I'm assuming a robbery went on here. What an odd location. It really is odd. I just need to fill up my van, uh, and then I'm going to go uh, uh, get it washed. That's my plan. Oh, shit, man, there's, a, there's a lot of pills back there. That, that's crazy. Oh, I, I almost hit that dude then. Move, bitch. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Move, bitch. I, I, I need to go wash my van. Sorry. Right, I, I clean my, my van. I, I've got to go to uh, Aunt Carol's house now. Damn, bitch, get out of the way. God, God damn, locals crazy they are. Where the hell did my van go? What the fuck? My Viagra! Oh, you're kidding me. God damn, no. Oh, shit. This, this is real bad. Um. Oh, fuck, no. My van. God damn it. Now on, what's your emergency? Hi, I just had my van stolen. Alright, where's this where did it happen? Where did it occur? Uh I'm at three oh eight behind Smoke on Water. I was just making a delivery and I came out and my van was gone and all the stuff inside it. Alright, what's the what's the street there? Um it's gonna be 
I'm kind of like behind Magellan Avenue on 308, like in the middle of the court. I'm wearing a um Okay. Like a and go on. Do you have the did you have the plate for the vehicle? Yeah. I can give so that to you. It's H A R D O N one. Hard on one. Okay, sir. And what's your name? My name's Barry. Barry what? McCarkina. <laughs> Alright, Barry, any other information? Um well yeah, if you send a police officer I'm wearing a uh, golden brown hoodie, like a fleece. Jumper. <laughs> Alright, sir. Well, sir, officers, that way I have another incident, so it might be a few minutes. Okay, that's fine. I appreciate that, um, sir. No problem. Have a good. So now I just gotta go to Aunt, Car uh, Aunt Carol's house, man, in the uh, gra grapeseed. I, I also, uh,. Those pills in the back, man. I, I want to sell them. I, I don't know what they are, though. I, I'm going to find out. I, I know a guy up in... Uh, um, up in uh, Grapes... No, no, no. No, no Grapes. See, that, that's Aunt Carol's house. Um, up in uh, Sandy Shores that, that can tell me what these uh, pills are. I don't want to take them yet. I want to find out what they are. Boy, I, I do like this this van. It, it's a real nice van. I, I'm I'm glad I I borrowed it for a while. It's it's real nice. Right, I, I need to go to my buddy's house now. Find out at what, what these pills are. I, I hope they're not paracetamol. Uh oh. Cocksucker. Alright, let's tell the world that I'm starting a priority. That'll do. I, I need to go this way. Sorry, dude. This is real bad. I, I need to lose that that dude. He, he's he's going to find out where I'm going otherwise. Oh, this this van's not too quick, I tell ya. Uh, these dudes that they they need to move. They're they're in my way. The way I talk, I should have called him Stammer Steve. Stuttering Steve, something like that. Oh well. I, I need to lose this dude. Was close. I'm <laughs> just going around the car park. Handbrake turn a van. Fuck it. Over the curb. <laughs> oh, that actually held him up. Ooh, ooh. No, damn it. Oh, I got three on me now. I'm I'm gonna go through the hells. I think that should lose them pr pretty pretty well. Plus, I never really come over here. If he tries to pit me, I swear to God. Ooh! Ah, oh, I was hoping that cop would wreck then. I'm gonna go this way. And then try and take a sharp right. Ha, you weren't expecting that. Uh oh. Ah oh, well, worth a try. Um there's no real way I can drive through that swamp then, especially not in a van. 
In a Sand King, I'd probably attempt it. But this isn't a Sand King. Asshole. Damn, this shard is staying with me. But then I am in a van, so... Oh. This van's holding up very well as well. It is damaged, but it's not smoking or anything yet. I'm gonna try and keep it like that. Shit. Let's go up here. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I don't didn't think you'd follow that. Um I don't even know where I'm going now. Shit. Um Ooh. Hello. Yeah, let's go under here. Ooh, that's pretty steep. Nailed it. Um Okay, let's go up here. <laughs> they won't be expecting this. I think I know where where this comes out. It comes out of the yeah the wine building up here. I've never done a scenario with this winery. That could be quite interesting. Haha! <laughs> I'm scot free. Ah, oh, shit, I shouldn't have gone this way, though. I go oh, you bastard! Cocksucker. Yeah, I need to kind of, like, skedaddle this way, maybe. I, I still need to go to my friend's house. Uh, but, um, uh, licorice. Okay, so, so far we've got away. Um, now I'm going to head back to the uh, liquor race. I keep forgetting the name of it. Oh, okay. Bit of a jump there. Because I need to find out what, what these p p pills are, man. I also need to get gas. I'm thinking the gas station up here. Right, let's get some gas. Hopefully there won't be a cop at this station. It genuinely wouldn't surprise me now. Uh, let's go front pump. It's harder to block me in. Oh, glitched out a little bit. That happens. I need to go around this side. And just keep an eye out because, you know, I could get ambushed here. I do have a gun. Steve Corelli does like his guns. He also likes stealing big things. <laughs> I love the way that's the basically this character, how I thought of it. Someone that likes stealing big, ridiculous shit and is kind of mentally... Well, he's underdeveloped, let's say. Th that explains the voice and the, the, the stammer, man. I'm thinking it might actually be fun to get there unattend like unnoticed. I, I could have some fun with that. Oh, my headlights out. That kind of sucks. Oh, shit. Well, there goes that idea. No. Okay, apparently he doesn't care. Oh, no, there he comes. Here he comes. He's probably going to wait for other units before he lights me up. Dispatch, I've got that van now. Heading uh, west eastbound 68. Like, seriously, dude, if you're going to be nonchalant, be nonchalant properly. I'm going to overtake this dude. Yep, I thought that would do it. <laughs> oh, that's great. Ah, uh, shit. I can't remember what the character I said is that Licorice's name was. <laughs> it's going to be Larry from now on. Why not? So I'm going to see Larry, man. Uh, uh, Licorice. Got another highway coming up behind this. It's the reckless crazy shit that slows them down the most. <laughs> That's something I've learned over my time. Playing OCRP.
Damn it. I was hoping you'd follow me. Oh, come on. Try and pit me. I want to see if I can outbreak a pit. Should be able to. If I break just as he goes to pit me, I should be okay. There's, there's Larry. Hey, Larry. Nah, they're not going to try and pit me. <laughs> Bit of a switcheroo here. Chicken! Hello, bat. Oh, shit. Oh, that worked out. Fuck. Um... Need to lose these guys before I go to liquor ice. You bad end. Shit, man. There, there go my engine real good. No, uh, you, you, you're not trying that. It's okay, let's get reckless. Shit. Well. <laughs> Good luck. Hang on, let me try. Just in case they ca haven't seen me. Ah, oh, shit, they totally saw me. Fuck. I've got no cover here. Shit. <laughs> Run. Run. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> oh, if I actually get away from this. Shit. I'm in I'm in the open here, that's bad. Fuck. Shit. I need an open interior. I need somewhere that's open. Fuck. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I know where I'm going now. No, 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 not the bike. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> so <sighs> out of breath. Ah, oh, shit. Um... Ah, uh, I'm bollocks. I'm ball... Uh, bollocks? Shit, I'm out of ammo. No, I'm not. Alright, alright. I give up, I give up, I give up, I give up. Put your hands up! Alright. Put I, your hands up right now. I, I give up. Turn around! <laughs> Turn around. I, I, I give up, man. Oh, face on. away. Face the wall. Turn around face the now. Door. Turn around face right now. Face the fucking door. Face the fucking door. Face the door. I, I give up, man. Move. You guys got me covered? Him, jump. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was amazing. You spell ghost peppers on any of my player. That's Jonathan Few. He's... Oh, what's it? Officer Pepper. I I'm sorry, man. I just wanted the van. I don't think I killed anyone. My shot wasn't good enough. <laughs> How did I get away from two shootouts? What the fuck? Lean against this cruiser, spread your leg, and don't move. 
I, I don't want to do this again. You have anything on me that's gonna poke me, stick me, or piss me off? Um. Uh, anything on you? Um. Uh, um. I I got my lockpick instead. Oh, and, and my gun. That that's quite dangerous. Okay. And a jerry can apparently. Because Were you not? shot at all, sir? Do you need medical attention? No, I, I'm very good at avoiding bullets. I I think. <laughs> You think? Yeah, it, it doesn't hurt anywhere. I'm sorry, man. I just wanted that van. It was big. Okay. No GSWs. Search his white van. What do I find? Um. Okay. Who, uh. Who, uh. Who had the shotgun? Because I heard that fire, and this guy's a very lucky man. He wasn't there at all. Uh, it was one of the troopers, I'm not sure which one. Two th 12,000 okay. pills of Viagra. In white. Yeah, he, um... Van. His shirt looks a little dirty for me, but, um, I guess if he's not hurt anywhere... Yeah, I'm not seeing... It looks like there's... It might be dry... ...for him something else, but... Uh, just... Yeah, maybe. ...shell... ...casings... You know, when I got away from the first shootout, especially considering how open I was, I was like, oh man, that's sheer fucking luck. And then I got in the 24 set, and they stopped shooting to run after me, they realised I weren't shooting again. I went in the 24 set, and I survived another shootout. He missed twice with a shotgun. At least. I am so fucking proud of myself. I managed to get out. I think the fact that I turned around and said, I give up, I give up. Yeah, hey, I know sorry, it was out of name? voice, but... Um, I don't feel comfortable giving that information to people. I I don't know. Uh, can, can I I keep the van? I, I really do like that van. No, I'm gonna say you're not gonna be able to keep the van. What was your name? I I don't feel comfortable giving out that that information to strangers, Mister uh, Police Officer Guy. <laughs> Yeah, he's refusing to ID. Um, I didn't find any ID on him. I, I don't carry I, ID. I don't like people knowing who I, I am. It, it scares me. <laughs> we may have to, uh, maybe fingerprint him and see if... Damn it. ...that'll come back. Yeah, I think I have one of the, uh, rapid ID kits in my car. Let me uh, check the trunk real fast. Alrighty. What jacket am I wearing? I'm wearing quite a nice jacket. Um. I'm, I'm gonna try and throw them a bone. Finds Blockbuster Premium <laughs> in Hey, did you guys Miranda him yet? Seven. No, not yet. With no, okay. name Steve. Yeah, it looks like I got one of the, uh, the field ID, the fingerprint kit. So if no, nice. Sure. Not identifying himself or what? Can yeah, yeah, he's, he's not identifying ID, himself. So. Ow. <laughs> that bang, that was my elbow clicking when I bent it. <laughs> I'm getting old now, I'm ancient. God, 21 I'll be next month. Okay, Spicy, I never want to hear that troopers aren't nice. I brought you your car back. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. No problem. I just gotta hold my ass back to mine. <laughs> Oh, I was going right, to give him a ride, but okay. This is your last opportunity to, you know, willingly provide us with your identification. You know, we need this for the course of our investigation. At this time, you are being placed under arrest. I, I've I've lost my blockbuster card. Can you can you find it for me? It's in the twenty four seven. I really need it. I'll go take a look. Let me go take a look real quick. We'll look for it, sir. I do appreciate that. C 
can I have a coffee? It, it calms me down. Coffee does the complete opposite. <laughs> uh, no, sir, not at this time. Uh, the, those pills in the back of my van, I don't know what they are. They're, they're not mine. I found them. In, in hey, the van. Uh, hey, Steve. Yeah, I mean, who? Oh, there we go. Yeah, his name's Steve Corelli, guys. Here's his uh, Blockbuster card. has got his name on it. Can oh, I have that back? Okay. I, I need it. Oh, you won't be needing it in the big house. Do they not have movie Alrighty. night? I do like a film. Like, come on, they must have realized that I'm mentally unstable by now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a bit bipolar. C can I have a coffee when we get to where we're going? The big house. Alright, do we want to go and uh, process him? I want to see what I'm going to be charged with. I, I want to see how many attempted murders they throw onto that. Uh, it, it, or... I mean, if, if you want me to transport him, I can. I'm not sure what the charges are. I Barely rolled up as we got as the if you just want to transport him, I was the initiating officer, yeah. so. Yeah. Hey, how's it going, officer? How are you doing today, sir? Eh, not too bad. I um, I had my van stolen. Alrighty. Yeah, I was at um, so. just down this alleyway delivering the smoke on water. I'm a Viagra salesman, and came out after doing the paperwork, and my van had gone. Okay, well, what type of van is it? Uh, it's a classic Yuga from like the early 90s. It's white with a stripe. I think it's a red stripe. Yeah, it's, it, it had all my Viagra on it, like 12,000 pills. Which I was going to sell. It had all my paperwork and as I said I went in smoke on water to uh, file my paperwork and sell him what he needed. Came out and the van had just gone. Okay, do you have a plate on the vehicle? Yeah, it's H-A-R-D-O-N-1. <laughs> okay, that's H is in Henry, Robert, uh, Daniel, Lincoln, Nora 1. No, H, uh, it's Hotel, um, Alpha, Romeo, Delta, Oscar, November 1. Kind of hanging around, you know, eyeballing the vehicle or eyeballing you. The only one I really noticed, there was a guy back just up there um, looking in the bins. He looked homeless, had a blue jacket on, kind of dark skinned. So I drove down this lane and the homeless guy was on our left behind that, like, tarpaulin looking in the bins and I pulled around here to the right and just in this little courtyard bit over here, that bay door over there, that's where I backed into okay and what did you say, uh, what color shirt did this homeless looking guy have on? Is it was like a blue, a, shirt, a blue yeah like a blue coat, like a uh, like a winter coat to keep you warm like a metallic blue color as I said, though, it was quite a while ago. It was, it was a good two hours now, so I don't know. There's a chance he might have been picked up already. That's what just what I'm hoping okay, for. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe. I um, I actually just got on shift and got your call, so I I don't oh, know what's shit. been going on. But uh, like I said, as soon as we get to uh, the garage, I'll make sure that I call and find out uh, the details. Okay, I do appreciate this, officer. All right, have a great day, man. All right. You as well. I'm gonna go ahead and sit here for a minute, get all this information put out over the, uh, over the radio, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get back to you soon. Yeah, I'm gonna go into the DMV and report some paperwork to them. C can I have a coffee? Uh, I think they serve coffee once you get to the prison, so you can wait. Oh, uh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, so I'm getting charged with fleeing and eluding, definitely. Attempted murder of an LEO, almost definitely. Theft of a motor vehicle, definitely. 
All right, sir, and I'm just double-checking for the arrest report here. You aren't under the influence of any kind of alcohol or drugs tonight, are you? No, I'm just really stupid. Okay, all right. My doctor says it's, um... Oh, um... I can't remember. I think it it was something like Asperger's. I, I don't really know though. I'm as I said, I'm I'm pretty stupid. <laughs> okay, guys, that is gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and make sure you come back for the next episode. And I will see you then. Peace out, guys.